Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Eat Up Reviews uh, with your boy, Ryan. And that is that is my name, yes. Um, I hope you know that by now. Um, so, we're back. Another episode, another review. Um, this one's going to be a little bit interesting in that it's from one of the previous places we already have been to. Um, different type of food. Um, but still... Um, if you go to this place, these are a couple different options for you. So, um, I don't want to waste any time. I'm starving. Okay. I know I say that every time, but I am. So it is what it is. Today we got another Wawa sub. We're going with a cold sub this time. Um, last time we went with the meatball, meatball sub, um, which was pretty tasty. Hard to beat. One of Wawa's best, I'd say. Today we're going with just a roast beef cold sandwich, lettuce, tomato, uh, no onions on there, um, lettuce, tomato, provolone, cheese, did they forget, oh no it's in there, small pieces of tomato on this one, uh, which kind of sucks, I mean, I, it is pretty filled though, I'll give you a nice look here, see that, roast beef, provolone, cheese, lettuce, tomato, salt, pepper, and a little bit of Old Bay, that's how I like it. Uh, if you've ever been to a Wawa, they have the screens where you can basically choose any option that you want. Uh, any kind of sandwich, any kind of meat, any kind of cheese, any toppings, um, seasonings, um, you name it, they have it. Um, you can put mayo, oil, uh, there is a little bit of oil on this one. Um, mayo, oil, uh, mustard, ketchup, even if you wanted to. Uh, so many different options, that's why I, I love Wawa, but um, yeah. So we're going with the roast beef sandwich today. Um, it smells delicious. They did load it up with seasoning. I love that Old Bay on there. Oh, one of my favorite things in the world. Old Bay. And hot sauce. I, I'm a big fan of hot sauce, too. But, uh, yeah. Without further ado, we'll dive right in. Roast beef sandwich. Mmm. Mm -mm. It's pretty good. Definitely, um, definitely pretty tasty. Um, the bread. They had just toasted it right before I went in, so it's nice and crispy on the outside, nice and soft on the center, unlike the uh, the meatball meatball sub, which if you'd like to hear m my comments about that bread, please take a look at that video. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. It's not how I roll. So, um, it is pretty good. The lettuce tastes good. The tomato, not my favorite. Um, looks like they've been sitting there for a while. Um, which is surprising, but maybe just because it's so late at night when I got this, um, it's, uh, it was probably around quarter of 10. Um, the cheese is pretty good. I wish they put a little bit more on it. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty good sandwich for $6 for the Wawa classic sandwich. Um, yeah, can't complain. Mm. This is the first cold hoagie we've had on this channel. Um, I, I'd i have to say, it's definitely not the best that, that it is in this area. But um, because it is a, a company that's all up and down the, the uh, East Coast, um, the quality of this for a bigger chain... It's pretty good. So, um, on a scale of 1 to 10 for hoagies, um, I'm going to give it around a 6, 6.3. Six, three. Six, three. Um, just because the tomato wasn't very fresh and the cheese, um, they kind of short me on that, so... 
Um, yeah, 6.3 we'll go with for that one. Um, for all, like, cold hoagies like this, I'm going to rate them all on a scale together. Um, just because I, I think it's easier. Um, and that way we can try a bunch of different ones and kind of judge the, uh, the ingredients as they come. Obviously, you're going to have a little bit different flavor, but still the idea is still the same. Um, so, yeah. Uh, with that, I'm going to hold you guys up any longer. Um, I'm trying to keep these videos a little shorter just so they're easier to watch, um, easier to uh, take in the information that you need. So, yeah, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go. Um, got a lot of homework to do. So, uh, it's been fun. Uh, check the link, check the description, excuse me, for links to um, Wawa's website, maybe the mobile app, um, nutrition facts, um, and an article about Wawa. Um, if I can find one about their, their cold hoagies, then I'll try and put that on there. But sometimes they're uh, difficult to find. So, such specific articles like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, throw a like throw a subscribe um check the description for all the information i previously said and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night all right have a good one thanks